Intellectual Health of a Kid How to Feed the Positive Thought Hello friends, kids are our future assets. Sometimes kids teach us how to behave in a certain situation. Kids are far more smarter and intelligent than we think. It is a big responsibility of the parents to bring up them in a positive manner. Well, that sounds weird but it is pretty cool. Some kids have constructive energy and some have destructive. It is quite visible in their early childhood years which is going to shape the future of the kid. We need to teach them well because there is a thin line between childlike and childish. These fundamental years determine the life of a kid. Some kids are different from others, how? You must have noticed that some kids are calm and mature. They are more observers who don't join their friends in mischief. They are mature than the kids of their age. They act sensible and more social and playful. You won't see them lying on road for the toy or creating nuisances. They are visibly noticeable and the parents get proud comments from their peers and fellows. Is there a special variety of such kids or they look different? Joking, but there are few noticeable things about such kids. The things you can notice in an intellectual kid. Intellectual kids don't look or make you feel different about yourself. But they are different. Now I am going to discuss how these kids are different from other kids or what are the features of such kids. The details are as follows. 1. Intellectual kids are independent Intellectual kids are not dependent on their parents, wards, or any other person for their small needs. They have their way of handling things. They try their best to do their daily chores or to fix anything. These kids try to be independent in form of actions and behavior. They manage things in their way. They will do their daily tasks, routines such as homework and sports activities by maintaining a level of self-help. 2. These kids are always curious These kids are always curious to know things. They are so inquisitive. Their mind is always active in sorting out and search the things which seem common to the elders and don't matter to some kids of their age. They are always busy with what, when, where, and how and other endless queries which are non-answerable to the elders. For example why the sky is blue? And why the water looks transparent? 3. They always search their answers for everything and will dig you more and are never satiated These kids are always eager to know and search more. They find their way for everything. They want to learn from everything. It is not always easy to quench their thirst. They are always busy and ready with their questionnaires. 4. They have awesome social skills These kids are more social bees. You can see them give a helping hand to the poor helping their peers and handling their things. They feel comfortable in any social setting and feel comfortable with people of every age group. They are always ready to administer their social skills in any situation. Though they look calm their energy is vital. 5. Smarter way of thinking These kids have a smarter way of thinking. They think one step ahead of the kids of their age. It is visible by their body language and attentive attitude. Their actions comply with their smart thinking levels. 6. They are consistent Such kids are more consistent and more active in their way of dealing with day-to-day -day activities. They are stress busters for their friends or those who come in contact with them. They show precision in everything they do. 7. Emotionally stable Intellectual kids are emotionally stable. You rarely see them making a complaint of their peers and fellows. You hardly see them lying on the floor of a toy shop. They get disturbed by the behavior of others but don't show their anger and resentment to others. They try to avoid the situation that makes them look and feel weird and uncomfortable. 8. Their body language says it all Their body language is always confident. They are always ready to follow the instructions. They are smarter in acting and behaving according to a given situation or task. 9. They are disciplined and well-behaved Intellectual kids are always disciplined and their manners are visible in their personality since the earlier years of their age. You serve food to 10 kids and just notice how many of them keep their empty plates back in the kitchen. Yes, these kids will. They are always punctual, disciplined, and always listen to what is instructed to them. It's a big responsibility to direct the intellectual kids in a positive way. The upbringing of a kid is a tough challenge. When the kid is different the approach to handle such kids is also different. It is a big responsibility of the parents to channelize the energy and efficiency of such kids in such a way that they move ahead in life in a cheerful note and positive way or psychology of millionaires. I'm going to highlight some of the tips that the parents must consider to give them a good environment for such kids. Emotional grooming of the kid is a must can you teach a kid how to behave in a particular situation? Yes. But how to get him ready for an unforeseen situation? Let him deal with his settings. Like in school if some fellow ward makes a nuisance with him, let him handle the situation. Advise him slash her if necessary. But you don't need to jump in everything. 
After all, kids are kids. Don't try to make him slash her emotional fool. The kids will behave the same way they see their parents. So be cautious and don't unnecessarily overburden their small minds with negative emotions. The motivational approach does help always motivate a kid to do good. Always reward him slash her for doing a good deed. Appreciate his every small effort. Water his slash her good thought. Appreciate it, groom it. Never let go of his kind thoughts and make sure to bring him on the same ground. It is not always necessary to teach him worldly tactics and politics. Teach him that if he does good the best will come back. Yoga Meditation Yoga and meditation help the physical and mental well-being of a child. It helps the child be more focused in life. A healthy mind lives in a healthy body also get rid of anxiety. It helps to boost the immunity of the kid and helps him slash her to be more attentive and disciplined in life and does miracles in achieving a healthy lifestyle and positive approach in life. More learning than grades try not to making the child a bookworm. Only bookish knowledge is not sufficient. Indulge him slash her in activities that involve more learning rather than theoretical knowledge. Let him play in the fresh air, take sunlight, taking out sweat, buy groceries, and other such activities. Try to make him more practical and it will bring more precision to his life in later years and will bring more confidence in him. Don't do overparenting Overparenting is a strict no-no. Don't be an overprotective parent. Let them fall and learn. It takes a toll on parents when a kid is hurt or called names by peers. Always interfere when needed. It will boost the morale of a kid and make him slash her more sensible and efficient. I can see the parents interfering too much regarding studies and all and questioning the teachers as well. Don't be overprotective. The well-being of the kid lies in being mature and responsible. He or she needs to have a positive approach towards life negative people, feelings, and surroundings make a child pessimistic. Try to bring a child on a cheerful note. Never discuss family matters with a child. Try avoiding abusing the language in front of him slash her. Some negative thoughts and words go into the subconscious mind of a child and make them more vulnerable to fights and quarrelsome nature. Let him enjoy his childhood don't expect too much from a kid. He or she is a child after all. Let him enjoy his childhood. Try to create good memories with him, try to spend more time with him, spend weekends and more planned family activities as the child is going to cherish these memories forever. Let him slash her enjoy their early years which are called foundation years. Thanks for watching.